Senator Paul Gavin of Sinn Féin. Can I ask Sinn Féin's stance on what's, what's their opinion, basically, on what's happening in Chechnya with men being imprisoned? We're horrified by what's happening in Chechnya. This is clearly a human rights issue. Uh, it has echoes of the 1930s. It has echoes of fascism. Um, and we want the government to speak out strongly and clearly. We want to make, also make it clear that Ireland can be a place of sanctuary for these people. Uh, we want to support the gay community in Chechnya. So we want action from the government in terms of speaking out clearly, demanding an end to the, the, to the horrific torture of gay people. And we also want Ireland to be a place of asylum for people who need it in relation to this issue. Uh, the media's coverage in Ireland of, of uh, what's happening in Chechnya, I've seen very little. Have you seen anything yourself? No, it's, it's been ignored. And I mean, today there are protests across every major city in the 26 counties. Uh, and yet uh, the, the mainstream media seem to be ignoring it. There was a fine crowd here in Limerick at the protest. This is an issue that does concern people, but the media have decided it's not on the agenda. When I say the media, the mainstream media. And it's hugely frustrating because from the point of view of people, from the point of view of, of Republican politics, the politics that Sinn Féin espouse, this has to be a key issue. My colleague Fintan Warfield, another senator, has already spoken out about it. Our colleagues in the Dáil have spoken out about it. And we will continue to, to speak out about it. But yes, it's extremely frustrating that the media so far have chosen to largely ignore the issue. Since the uh, equality and marriage has been passed, I think it might be, you know, we've done our part and we don't need to do anything else. Yeah, and I mentioned that in the speech I made because, I mean, we have made tremendous progress and we certainly are an open, inclusive society. But if that's to really mean something, then now, when our brothers and sisters in Chechnya are being tortured, are being criminalised, we have to speak out. If we don't speak out in relation to that issue, then to be honest with you, we end up just kind of being liberals in a way that doesn't mean anything. So it's extremely important that we build a progressive political consensus that action needs to be taken against the Russian government, against the Chechnyan authorities, to make it clear that this behaviour is unacceptable in any civilised society in the 21st century. I mean, there's been reports of three deaths so far, probably more. Well, there has been, and also uh, one of our speakers here, Caroline, was speaking in terms of the type of torture, electro-treatment torture, uh, being meted out to people in order that they give up names of other gay people. This is pure fascism. This is a return to the 1930s. And it's frightening to think that somehow mainstream media don't think this is an important enough issue to raise. I'm delighted that you guys are here to raise it, and hopefully we can build awareness and support for action on Chechnya.